Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum and adab. And I hope all of you are doing well in your location and locality with a regular life. And yeah, it's after a 10 days vacation, I am here back in Silet. Uh, uh, it was 14th of this month. I went to Maiman Singh to celebrate the Eid Ul Ajha with my family, as my family is living there in Maiman Singh city. And I live here in Silet uh, as a part uh, of my education and also uh, my job life. So, yeah, uh, uh, it is very normal that the, all the occasions of ceremony, uh, we love to enjoy the ceremony, uh, we enjoy the ceremony ce to celebrate the, our religious occasions like Eid al-Fitr, Eid al-Ajha, also from other religious, religion, like other ceremonies. So, uh, yeah, it, it, it was like, uh, uh, like every other Muslim in our country or in the world, uh, like Eid al-Ajha, like, uh, get some, uh, becomes like troublesome for every, every Muslim, like there is a lot of works to do uh, at home and outside uh, from the beginning of buying the animals to sacrifice. And after sacrificing them, uh, there are many other formalities like instructed by in the religion, we need to accomplish them. So after accomplishing them, uh, it feels like, yeah, we are done as we are instructed to do, to sacrifice, to sacrifice for the God Almighty. And yes, uh, uh, as I was with my family members, my father, my mother, my parents, and my younger sister, the Eid was definitely was, I enjoyed the time and, but, I was also in under pressure. Actually, I informed, I mean, Bhaiya and that I had an scheduled exam on 26th of March, but like in recent flood in Silet, the exam got postponed like two days earlier. And I was preparing for the exam like during all this month. And I like, oh, uh, like it was kind of like a type of heartbreak. Like I was preparing for the exam, but the exam got postponed. However, the people here in Silet uh, are suffering a lot due to the flood. And uh, I seek for everyone's prayer for the people of Silet. And uh, uh, I don't know the reason behind, but uh, since I'm living here in Silla from 2017, uh, like in the first five years of my time here in Silla, I never like was Silla or the surroundings of the Silla city like get flooded like intensely. But uh, yeah, uh, during monsoon, like uh, it is very normal that uh, there is the increase of the normal water level as we are in the lower stream and the India and Meghalaya is in the upstream. And during the heavy rain, due to the heavy rain of the upstream, uh, this lower stream, downstream area is flooded, but the water in Silet didn't stay for a long time. Like it took around half or an hour to get clear. But nowadays, like for two or three years, after like a government project in Nikli Road, like 
uh, the 29 kilometers approximately kilometers long highway or connecting road uh, through the Howard area uh, was built and uh, before that the entire water got the passage to cross the road like 23 29 kilometers of area and now they are the uh, they now get only 1.8 kilometers of bridge area like 1.8 kilometers of culverted area are there to get the water to pass away so there there is like many articles also news reports there like who are uh, telling that this roads is also the root cause for the floods or inundations in Silite. And that's uh, that was a heartbreak for me. And for this reason, like I didn't get back to Silate so early. I stayed at home during the like full vacation 10 days in my Singh. And I came back here in Silate, Silate like two days back. And now like, from yesterday, my regular uh, like working days started and yeah, I enjoy, I'm enjoying my regular days. Also, if I talk about like the T20 World Cup and Bangladesh cricket team and their performance, like <laughs> I'd like to mention here that uh, once, upon a, uh, it, once upon a time, I was so emotional like regarding the Bangladesh cricket team, their performance and any single match, any single ball, and uh, I would love to follow. But nowadays I feel like it's all about a waste of time, like spending emotions, spending time against a futile team. Like they are not playing in the field. They are playing with the emotions of the people of the country who are supporting them for like after getting the test status like from 2000 and also now we hear after they get a disappointing they offer us a disappointing performance they say that yeah we are learning we are gathering experience yeah it's heartbreaking uh, uh, we do not want actually i personally do not recommend bangladesh team to be played or to be allowed to play to partial the game they do not deserve to play the game like uh, i feel intensely like they're like garbage like performance so yeah uh, someone like ensure, uh, earlier mentioned that that Bang afghanistan cricket team is playing nowadays very well and uh, compared comparing to bangladesh cricket team Afghanistan cricket team is so younger. Like they got their taste and T20 status like uh, in 2010, 2010. And in 10 or 14 years, they improved a lot. And they are playing now nowadays uh, Super 8 or semifinals like in regular, myth, uh, regular rhythms. But Bangladesh cricket team, uh, they like, uh, we once, we have had the chance to enjoy our performance in uh, like knockout stage. It was in 2015, as, as far as I can remember. And in uh, 2019's champions trof uh, championship trophy, like they played in semifinal. And that's what they gave us in 25 years, during all these 25 years, during uh, playing after playing many tournaments. So I find here like uh, there is a circle like reactions in Bangladesh. Uh, at first, like they do very bad in a tournament, then they manage or they fix a schedule like series with Zimbabwe, then they do well with Zimbabwe that they again gather some performance with against West Indies then do well or sometimes they lost against them and after that they play against afghanistan or sri lanka 
like this shows that they are improving, they are improving, they are preparing for the uh, ahead tournament. Then in the tournament, like <laughs> in front of India or Pakistan or like New Zealand or England, like they are swapped away, like, like straws in the flooded area. Like all their performance, all their, uh, all their preparations like vanished in a moment. So I don't find like, they do not feel, they do not enjoy, they do not deserve to be play, to play the game. So uh, that's about Bangladesh cricket team. And uh, yeah, also I feel intense, my intense plays are like watching, seeing it, all of you here. And also, uh, all right. That's all from my side. Thank you. Bye. Yeah.